hello everyone welcome to ezdu and today we are going to discuss about displacement time drop we will explain in detail about what is distance time drop and what does the slope of a distance time drop represent uh, there are three possible scenarios let's consider this is a displacement time drop or distance time drop where the y axis represents distance and the x axis represents time the slope of a distance time graph is velocity and there are three possible cases now in this case the this is a horizontal line with the passage of time the time is passing on this side when there is no change in the position the position is represented by the y axis so the slope of this line is zero and if the slope is zero this means the speed is also zero and if the speed is zero then the object is not moving now here is case two where uh, this is an upward line with the passage of time and it also increases uh, with the passage of time so it is covering some distance in the positive or in uh, some specific direction now in this case the slope of this line is uh, positive and if the slope is positive it means the speed is positive and it is moving in a forward direction now here is the third case scenario uh, this is coming downward direction so the slope of this chart is negative and if the slope is negative which means the velocity here is it's going in the backward direction now here are all the three charts a b c with different cases now let's match these graphs with the description uh, number one is the car is stopped so it is represented by c here the car is stopped because it is a horizontal line and the car is not moving uh, number two is the car is coming back at a constant speed so here it is coming back at a constant speed it is coming in the uh, downward direction initially it is at uh, away from the reference point and then it is coming near to the reference point uh, in the third case the car is going forward at a constant speed now at a constant speed the car is going forward so the slope of this line is positive and this drop represents that the car is going in the forward direction now what if the object uh, have a non-uniform velocity or a non-uniform speed then these lines will not be straight lines they will be curved like this so the speed will not be uniform if the line is curved uh, now here let's discuss in more detail about we have data and this data represent time and position of an object when the time is zero the position of the object is zero when the time is two second the position of the object is 20 second and when the time is 4 second the position of the object is 40 meter so this this represent position the y axis and the x axis represent the time now here after 5 seconds of journey the position of the object is uh, 50 meter away from the initial position and here this line is a straight line it means the car is moving with a uniform velocity now we are going to calculate the slope of this line and the slope we know is equal to rise divided by run and rise is represented by del y change in the y direction and run is represented by change in the uh, x axis or in the x uh, direction so we have slope of this line is equal to del y divided by del x where y2 minus y1 now let's consider the final position the final position here uh, the x coordinate is 5 which represents the time and the y coordinate is uh, 50 which represents the change in the position or the final position of the object at this point now the initial position initially the time is zero the position is zero and after five seconds of journey the position is the position of the object is 50 meter so we can calculate velocity from this by dividing uh, this will become 50 minus zero and five minus zero the 50 minus 0 is y2 minus y1 and 5 minus 0 will be x2 minus x1 and 50 divided by 5 will give us 10 
so the velocity of the object is 10 meter per second and this is the slope of the uh, this line now we have another graph with different sections here the car is moving in a forward direction then it stopped here for some time and then it starts going forward again after reaching to this point it came back to uh, this position we are going to calculate the average velocity of the car during this whole journey now during this whole journey we will just take the final position and the initial position the final position is uh, 20 kilometer and the initial position is 0 while the time during which it reached to this final position is 20 uh, is 1.2 hour so 20 divided by 1.2 hour is equal to 17 kilometer per hour and this is the average speed we have calculated from the slope of this chart for calculating individual velocities we will take individual position for example the velocity at this point is different we will take this the initial position and this will be the final position for this section of the chart now there is no change in the position with the passage of time in this area I mean the car stopped here for some time and then it started moving again with 80 km per hour in this upward direction after reaching this point it came back to this position so there are different sections so you can easily calculate the velocities for different sections of this chart now let's consider what is happening here here we can see the x-axis represents the time and the y-axis represents the distance and initially its position is 0 at 0 seconds and after 5 seconds it reached to this final position 3 km away from the initial position now after 5 seconds it started coming back to the initial position or the reference point and it reached back at this initial position after 4 seconds so it went away from the reference point 3 km and then came back to the reference point but the difference here is it reached there in 5 seconds mean the velocity in this section is slow while coming back uh, the car came back with a faster speed now let's explain here what is happening here uh, this represents the distance which is in meter and this represents the time initially when we started calculation the position of the object is not changing for 2.5 seconds which means he is stationary the object is stationary standing at its point for 2.5 seconds after 2.5 seconds it started moving in a forward direction and after 10.5 seconds or 11 seconds it stopped here for some time and then after 16 seconds of the journey it started coming back to this position toward the reference point then it stopped here again and then it reached to the reference point from where the object started its journey the object started its journey from the initial position and it reached back to the initial position and then it stopped here for some time and here we stopped the reading so what does this chart mean it just started the journey for example from this position it reached away from away from the reference point and then it came back to the reference point now here it's a let's draw some graphs uh, with different situation for example an object that is stationary and is behind the starting line then number two an object that is stationary and in front of the starting line and number c is an object that is stationary and at the starting line so here are the three cases in all the three cases the object is stationary it means the object is not moving but we are just considering the reference point this one is in front of the uh, starting line this one is just right above the starting line and this one is behind the starting line these represents plus one position zero and minus three for example a person is standing here another one is standing here and the third one is standing here 
this one is away from the reference point just one meter while this one is away three meter but in the backward direction while this one is away one meter but in the forward direction and all the uh, objects are stationary because we see the lines are horizontal with no increase in the y direction with the passage of time now answer the following question based on the position of the time graph here is the initial position at zero when we start reading this is the initial position what is the position of the object at one second so at one second the position of the object is 2.5 is 2.5 what is the position of the object at four second this is uh, at four second the object is at its initial position or the position from which from where it started its journey it started journey from zero and it came back to zero uh, after four seconds of journey what is displacement of the object between zero and 4.0 seconds so it is represented by its time initially this is zero when we started reading the position is plus plus one while well, after four seconds it came to the starting point so it is so the object if we consider this as a starting point then it traveled minus one meter in the negative direction because it started its journey from one and came back to zero which means the total distance distance or this the, the total displacement it cover is minus one meter what is the distance that object had traveled between zero and four point zero seconds this is the displacement but now it is uh, about distance so the distance it traveled between 0 and 4 seconds is it started journey from 1 and reached to 4 which means it's covered 1 2 3 total 3 meter it traveled in 2 seconds and in the other 2 seconds it came back to the starting uh, 1 meter behind the starting position it traveled a total of 4 meters while here it traveled 3 meters so the total journey is 3 plus 4 equal to 7 meter so during this 4 seconds of journey it covered total of 7 meter that's it thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe easy to you for more videos